so you are well indoctrinated for what you are going to expect from life including your behavior by schooling and along with the culture industry generation by generation. Until we are all pretty well degenerate we don't even know it cause everyone else is too. When you are degenerate you are dysfunctional meaning your survival capabilities have gone for lots of fun like never before. Populations in first world countries are also decreasing cause all are nudged to just go and have fun and a meaningful future. One only thinks to understand what's going on. In Aldous Huxley's Brave New World from the 1930s, technology has been given to the public only so much as it enabled the alpha guys to monitor them. Not enemies overseas so much but their own populations at home. Because the number one rule of government is to protect and maintain itself regardless of what the public wants. These times, we literally pay voluntarily for surveillance technology as it is needed to run our daily lives. Morality is what the governing elite defines at the right time that sweets themselves. There is a natural morality of course but one will not find it today as primitive tribes are wiped out from the face of the earth as the years go by. In the meantime they are having wars across the world to finish off the last countries of opposition that don't have this central banking system and have a different system altogether. As well, they are wiping out the last unwanted cultures like cultures of the Middle East while generating terror organizations that do the dirty jobs for them under various disguises. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. That's the name of the game. They are the good shepherds and we're the sheep. They do plan this scientific future massive cost for everything energy, taxes, fees. They use populations so they won't lose cash that way. That's what they mean by austerity and we are going into it via worldwide program. That's what they are doing. Standardizing the world and of course plundering the resources of those countries while they are at it. Under various guises of helping people and saving lives they murder more than anyone else. Because these superiorists have been behind world wars, they planned them in the past to get the changes through. Now, the system we are living in has been planned for well over a 100 years. In fact, Britain brought in free trade for their own colonies in the 1840s and the group that came out of that eventually called themselves the Royal Institute of International Affairs. They wanted world wars, they got them, and they hoped the public would be on their knees after the wars, give up sovereignty and become part of the United Nations. It didn't went so well by the end of World War II, so they decided to take the long road, the Fabian Technique. Of course they run the Fabian Society. In the 1800s we had the top bankers on the planet, international money lenders from across Europe, mainly from Germany, came in to Britain, got titles such as Lords and Sirs. And they formed the Lord Milner Group, and they attached themselves to the Rothschild Group and other groups as well. And then they became the Royal Institute for International Affairs, RIA a private organization that designs the course of history for this world destination of globalism and with themselves and all academia to manage it. They actually created wars and define how they are necessary to bring in change. Directed change, before World War I, RIA members issued publications to get war with Germany. Even though most of them were German descendants or in the second, third generation living in Britain and they created the Council on Foreign Relations for other countries who wouldn't like the idea of something royal, royal charter, etc. And they have this organization operating all across the world now, even in China, Australia, New Zealand, India, everywhere, picking and putting in their own prime ministers and presidents. And those countries have been doing this, according to Carol Quigley, for her 100 years and continuing. Carol Quigley wrote the book The Anglo-American Establishment. In his book, the reader should not get confused with places. It's not the British, it's not the Americans. 
This only tends to obfuscate the people who are doing this and who are already international. In their old books they talked actually about a Pan-American Union which is still in the process of forming and a Pan-European Union. It didn't go too well. Even after two world wars they brought on and so they established the common market idea has all to do with free trade as well in the Americas. Forty years of teaching false history in schools enables the media now to revive old terms as news such as pan-European, etc. You are living in a delusion, it works. Because everyone got the same indoctrination as yourself. Government has never been there to serve you. You are run by gangs. Gangs have always existed, and the gangs have guys with university degrees working for them. They know how to run the system in the world and you. It truly is a big system. An old system that is designed to con every generation into an idea called democracy. You are taught to believe in it. Do you really believe you have rights? What dreamland have you been living in clearly since September 11, 2001?